Hey y'all, Diecast Construction Expert here, bringing y'all a review of the Liebherr R916 excavator in the Frauenrath Livery. This is uh, produced by NZG in 150th scale, and uh, it is my first excavator um, from NZG and uh, my first Liebherr excavator and uh, got it off 3000 toys for a great price one of the limited edition models only 300 of them made and uh, shout out to them for sure and uh, definitely one of many more to come uh, but just giving y'all a quick little shot of it on the low boy there it looks great in my opinion it's definitely a very good looking excavator and uh, yeah, so uh, just want to show you all that, and we'll carry on with the review. All right, so uh, this is a very, very good-looking model, like I said, and uh, definitely. I mean, I have a, a lot of favorites, but this is—it just stands out from all the caterpillars and John Deere's and all that stuff. So i definitely really like this model and everything about it for the most part there is one slight detail that i'll get to uh... just here in just a second but starting off as usual with the front end here we got a very very good bucket here it's got nice big teeth on it it's nice and wide and uh... you know it's a lot better than you know like a typical cat three twenty bucket would be with you know super skinny i mean probably only be to about that fourth tooth wide if that really so it's really nice to get a little bit of a different bucket there and this has some really good wear plating there on the back and uh, over here we get slight little you can see a slight little wear plate there uh, but getting on you can see the teeth in there not too much detail on them necessarily but they look pretty good overall anyways uh, getting on here to the quick coupler, I really like this. Uh, this other second pin typically would uh, slide out. I did super glue it, however, just because I don't really plan on flipping my bucket around like that. I just don't really do that. But uh, this quick coupler works really, really well, and uh, definitely like the hooks that they featured on there. Those come in handy for many things, as you may imagine with some chains and so forth very very nice feature there but uh, I don't know I'm probably gonna I don't know I'm probably not gonna super glue that other pin in it's just not necessary um, moving on I mean the rivets are all painted which definitely complements to the model and you got some additional casting in there on the linkage there which is definitely stands out from other models for sure um, get a little bit more uh, castings here on the stick along with some hydraulic castings in the cylinder here and like I said before all the rivets are still painted all the way up and some more castings do get some uh, I guess they are technically rubber hydraulic lines going on there um, this is the one issue that I do have. This is how it came to me. And, I mean, it doesn't affect the function of the model. If anything, it kind of, well, it is a little stiff right there. But once you get past that, it's not too bad. But it's better to be too stiff than too loose, I suppose. We won't go with any jokes that one might comment below. Who knows? Anyways. Moving on, like I said before, uh, we got the lines that continue on on the boom there that are cast the rest of the way. Um, we do have some nice warning logos. Um, like I said, the Frau and Roth, uh, Baut meine Zukunft, which means uh, I'm pretty sure build my future in German. You might have to check me on that. Uh, like I said, cast hydraulic lines on the cylinder itself up on the boom 
and they are cast all the way the rest of the way down until you get to the bottom where they feed into the engine and rest of the excavator itself and the car body whatever you'd like to get technical if you'd prefer uh, we got nice little caps here on the cylinders here which you don't see on every excavator but you would on a leap here most likely um, very nice touch for sure nice painted rivets another hydraulic line here and on the other side which definitely touches on that I think I already mentioned that but that definitely adds to the model as you can expect moving on down here to the cab it's gonna be a rough one to try to get focus on this so we'll see what we can do but let me see if we can just get this arm out of the way real quick alright and uh, zooming in on the cab perfect that seat is painted which definitely helps set it apart from other models you get the uh, hand controls foot controls hand controls for the uh, feet controls you get a the little TV screen not TV screen but display screen that they would have in the real model and the uh, buttons and everything that would be right there along with another little screen are all in there they're not painted but uh, you can see where they would be which is you know a nice touch for sure it's better than not having that uh, cast in there at all like I said the